I was only a lad when we read that in Russia the workers, the Soviets, had taken all power and the man they called Lenin who led them was our inspiration. His triumph was our finest hour and I'll always remember how fear shook the wealthy like thieves who have just been caught out in their crime. But we, who had known only war and the workhouse, rejoiced that a new world was born at that time. You can't know what it meant and the pride that we felt to know working people People like us could shake off the shackles, could topple the palaces, remake the world without ruler or boss. It was this kept us going, this dream of a new world, through all those dark years of defeat and despair, when we, who are proud to proclaim ourselves communists, fought for that world free from hunger and fear. It was down with a means test, no cuts in our wages, we want three pounds a week and the seven hour day. And there wasn't a thing that we got, but we fought for it. Don't you know, bosses give nothing away. And the strikes and the marches, the battles to beat off the bailiffs and coppers when hope was still young. Hot heads and hot hearts, as we tested our power, the workers triumphant. And that was our song. The United Farm Workers Great and Lettuce Point Pass. And uh, part of our strategy was right here, right behind this accordion door where they served the food. Uh, in the food program, they served non union uh, grapes and lettuce. And I worked with a student who was a student here at Trade Tech, his name was Steve Cooper. And he was in the food preparation program. And uh, he made a big uh, effort to get them to not sell non union grapes and lettuce. The only problem was that the director of the program uh, decided he would beat Steve Cooper's effort by selling Teamsters Union lettuce and grapes. And so the farm workers were slowed down in their effort to, to get a, a union contract. But Cesar Chavez all along is career made it a point of always ensuring that the union recognition was number one before they did anything else, before you talked about wages, before you talked about benefits, they had to recognize the union. And that was always the sticking point because the growers were always willing to give things short of giving the workers their own organization. They did not want that. Uh, when they realized that it was going to hurt them really bad economically, they decided they would give in. And so they signed these contracts. But uh, all through this campaign, it was very, very hard. It was going out in the streets everywhere, every Safeway store, going to all the unions, going to all the churches, getting donations, getting supplies. I can remember going to USC, trying to get reams of paper, going here, talking to the teachers, trying to get the AFT to the doors. Uh, my mother was a teacher here for 13 years. She was in the AFT, and so we were able to get the endorsement for the boycott. But it, it was like pulling teeth. It's very, very difficult. And back in 76, there was a campaign it was called Proposition 14 at that time. It was a campaign to get a uh, agricultural labor relations board for the farm workers so that they could have elections. And uh, they got to have their elections, but they lost the, they lost the vote. Uh, one of the things that happens when you do petition drives is you have to make sure that everybody's registered. Everybody has to be a registered voter. You don't have to pick a party. In fact, most people don't pick a party. If you look at the uh, vote, whatever they call the statistics these days, most people don't belong to a political party. But they are registered to vote. So that's very important to start with. Everybody in this room should be registered to vote. 
They should have a regular polling place. They should have a regular place where they live, somewhere that they, they can be identified that they're in that neighborhood. They belong. To, they should vote there. Because these are the kinds of things that they throw out your campaign. These are the kinds of excuses they make to get rid of your your campaign. And when you play by their rules, you have to make sure that you, you take care of business. Because if you don't, you will not win. So it's very important to start from the beginning, uh, making sure that everybody that works on the campaign is registered to vote. Make sure all your friends and neighbors are registered to vote. Make sure that all the deadlines are met properly on time so that all of these things happen uh, and can't be challenged. And the other thing is that you need to do is you need to have uh, more signatures than, your, than the minimum. You're going to have to have a lot more signatures than the minimum because you can bet that the other side is going to challenge most of the signatures that you have. Even though they're legitimate, they're going to challenge those signatures. And they're going to challenge you when you try to make a union. They're going to challenge it for bogus reasons, but it doesn't matter. They're going to have a challenge to everything that you do. And so all of this effort to have these things is going to be on us. Everything that we, that we do, we have to do together. And there's no other way. Because if we try to do it the easy way, and, you know, take a day off and go to the beach, things like that, it's not going to get done. I just can tell you because, you know, that was back then in 76, and this is now, they're talking about farm workers making, you know, $7,000 a year, and they're poor, and they didn't have housing, they you know, didn't have fresh drinking water. It's the same thing now. It's, it, it hasn't changed. It's just... The people that are not working on the farm now, they're working in the cities. They're trying to go to school. They're trying to raise families. They're trying to do the things that working people do. And uh, so we got to do it. It's just there's no, there's no alternative but to do this. Uh, finally, what I'd like to say is that I got this newspaper here, and if you guys can help me out by writing some articles, about the campaign, about Walmart, about conditions on the job, about uh, the campaign, about the $15 an hour and why we need it. Uh, that would be very helpful to us because then we can take this paper and we can go all over the city with it and, and let people know what's going on. That's what we used to do in the old days. So if it worked then, it'll work now. Arise, O workers of all nations, arise, O blessed of the earth, for justice thunders condemnation, a better world. You fight.